before we completely go into the holiday season, let me show you how to do some sunflowers. So I'm taking some dark teal, some nutmeg brown, and some black on my mop brush and doing up and down strokes. I'm not mixing the colors, but I'm using them all at the same time, and you get this really cool kind of wood grain effect. And then I'm drying it for this next part. I'm gonna take a large pouncer with black paint and do a big dot. That's gonna be the center of our first sunflower. And I wanna give him some friends, so I'm going to do one slightly higher on the left side of him, making sure it's spaced out enough for some petals. And then a slightly even taller one at the top right. So one, two, three, all different heights. There we go. I'm also gonna take my mop brush with just black paint and brush in some black uh, just from the top of my canvas and even some at the bottom. What this does is it usually creates a frame that forces our, our eye towards the center of the picture where the sunflowers are. So that's kind of optional, but I like to do it just as an extra detail. Now I'm going to use white first on a medium round brush. This is going to be a repetitive step. I'm gonna start at the edge of my circle, press down and pull out, lightly pulling up as I get out towards the outside edge of my petal. So press down and pull out. Always straight out from that point that you start at the very edge. Don't worry if you mess up your circle a little bit because we can go back and fix that later. But I'm going to do that all the way around my circle. Notice how no matter where I start on that circle, I'm always pulling straight out from that point. All right, and I'm doing that to every single flower and then dry it. We used white first because now I'm going to back, go back in with some bright yellow and do the same exact thing. It doesn't have to match up exactly, but if we hadn't done the white, the yellow would have turned green because of the blue in our background, and we want it to be vibrant like the sunflowers usually are. So I'm doing this to every single flower again, the same stroke all the way around until the white is pretty much covered. Don't worry if it isn't completely, but this time I'm going to go in with some like golden yellow, doing the same thing, but notice I'm not going all the way out to the edge. It's okay if the white and the bright yellow peek out because that gives you a little bit of a halo around it. It just, it looks like a highlight, really pretty. So I'm going to do that to every single flower again. And it doesn't, like I said, have to match up exactly with every single brush stroke. You're just layering the paint colors to make it look three dimensional. So I'm also going to go in with some nutmeg brown that I used from my background. And I'm doing the same stroke, but much shorter, like less than halfway out from my petal. Sunflowers sometimes have sunken in centers, so this is a little bit of shading, if you will. It's going to make it definitely look more three-dimensional or more golden-like, like a sunflower. So do that to every single flower. This is a pretty easy painting, but very, very repetitive. So it's going to take you a little longer than some of the other paintings I've shown you. And then, like I said, we can go back and fix up those centers. Just use your pouncer again with black paint. Oh, that's so much better. Do that to every single flower then to add those centers back in. Awesome. Ooh, I love them so far now, but we can't have floating sunflowers. So let's do some grass for them at the bottom. Some people have been asking how to do grass without a fan brush. Now there, there is another way. You can use a detail brush and always pull up from the bottom. You have more control this way. You can do each individual blade of grass. It's a very similar stroke to the petals actually. Just make sure they're all different heights. They can be kind of leaning over each other. Don't make them too tall. You don't want to have to go mow your grass, but I'm going to do this all the way across across to the other side of my picture. And make sure you're using dark and light green, especially for the stems too. I'm gonna, just gonna take that and go all the way up from the grass to the petals. And then I'm going to add some leaves. I'm just doing a line off like a branch and then just doing a bunch of little lines going up and then out from the other side. Same stroke. Okay, this is all pretty much the same stroke in this painting. Just do a line for the center part of your leaf. Do a bunch of strokes pulling out to the right and then to the left on either side. That's a fancy leaf. There's a couple different ways you can do leaves, but do it however you feel. I'm also gonna take pops of white, um, especially on my green, because I want it to look like the sun is shining on it. I don't forget to do that to your grass either. There we go. Anything in nature that's growing, always add white at the end. 
And on that note, I'm also gonna do some highlights to the centers of my flowers using a uh, fine sea sponge. I'm gonna start with nutmeg and tap in some seeds. I start with nutmeg, which is a darker color. Then I go back in and I usually use some tan. Um, I use a lot more tan than the nutmeg because they really pop out from the black background of the center. Look at all those seeds. Ooh, I love sunflower seeds. That's making me hungry. And then I always do pops of white as well. Not covering as much, just more like a shine. So that's how you do a really simple version of my sunflower painting. It's actually a popular one in my classes. When you get really good, you can use a detail brush and get this detailed or even do variations like this one right here. I'd love to see what everybody does. Let me know how it goes.